Hi guys, so <laughs> I don't have a tripod on its own, I have the ring light. So let's get this face beat while I tell you things that I've learned in my 24 years of being here and what I'm still learning. <laughs> So the first one for me would be that it's okay not to be okay. Like people make it seem like you're not supposed to feel how you're feeling. Feel how you're feeling if you're hurt, let it out. But don't be in that place for a very long time. I'm going in with a setting spray first before I um, put my foundation. Be friends with people that see you for who you are and not what they want you to be. Trust me on that one. You're going to save yourself a lot of drama. Because then people want you to be something that they not to just satisfy their ego and their name. So be with friends that see you for who you are and accept you for who you are. Surround yourself with people that have goals in life, not girls that just want to have sugar daddies they literally have no dream of starting a business going to school doing something for themselves or they talk about this alcohol party the sugar daddy that sugar daddy the latest iphone trust me you reach a stage in life where everybody will be doing what they want to do in life and you'll just be stuck up alone because you are so into Oh, what are we going to party next? Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So the whole point of this is just surround yourself with people with goals, not endless people who are just trying to feed off on you or from other people, if that makes sense. That dream that you have, don't let go of it. You might be in your waiting season and your waiting season might take longer than you expected. Baby girl, don't let go of that dream. Failure is not the end of the world. It is a setback, but I feel like with failure, there's something that God wanted you to learn and you didn't pick it up at that time. That's why he's made you wait a bit so that you could learn what you didn't learn at that particular time. So failure should not make you give up. Just work hard in the areas that you didn't do well and watch yourself become the greatest version of yourself. If you are in uni, live out your best life in uni. I feel like for me, in uni, I had the time of my life and I don't regret anything at all. I feel like I had a blast. I have something to talk about and I guess to say I had fun. You know, it was like one day to sit back and say, damn, I wish I did this in uni, I wish I did that. But that does not mean not paying attention to your grades and actually finishing school. Learn to say no when you don't want to do something, don't just do something because you want to impress your friends. At the end of the day, it's you. It's not about them, it's about you. So learn to say no. If you don't want to go out partying that day, you need to say no. If you don't want to go out that day, learn to say no. I won't beat you, will it? If you're a Christian, grow your relationship with God. Get closer to him because there's a lot that happens behind those doors. We don't know what happens in the spiritual realm, and I feel like a lot goes on. Sometimes you might think certain things happening in your life are normal because the world has really has made a lot of things seem normal, but to be honest, certain things are not. So please, please, please pray. If content creating is what you love, like me, I'm a small growing content creator, do what you love, let them laugh at you, because they can do it. So, let them laugh at you, one day they will claim they know you. Trust me. If you are in uni, study at your own time, not because everyone else is studying. Trust me, that will save you a lot of time and stress. Find what works best for you, stick to it. Not because your friend studies at 03, you start punishing yourself to study at 03. If you know you cannot wake up at that time, study before going to bed. So that when you sleep, you're good. If that works for you, do it. If waking up at 3 a.m. works for you, do it. I had a friend that would always come back from the bar and start studying because she knew what she wanted. 
And yeah, here we are, graduates in the world that has no matter if you get at least the video to go and you know, go and don't embarrass yourself just because your friends are doing it, don't do it. If it doesn't sit well with you, like you're not okay with it, don't do it. Girls are just doing it for the money and trust me, it comes at a cost, a very, very heavy cost. This life, the only people that will ever want the best for you are your parents and God. Trust me on this one. You think you know your friends? <laughs> you don't know what they say behind your back. Trust me. You know what? That's full of imaginary competition. Stay in your lane, my girl. Don't be influenced because of what you see on social media. People are broke. <laughs> People rent things. Just. I'm not saying it's everyone, but just get what you can afford. Stay in your lane. Do things that you can manage. Don't go above and beyond. Because these people won't even come and say, Oh, you also bought this. Do things according to what you can afford. If you are in uni, bagging that degree should be your number one priority. That boy, if he truly loves you, he's not going anywhere. And that fun that you're having, still is like having a fun, but like that sign that you're having, have a limit, manage your time perfectly. Because honey, once you buy that degree, nobody can ever take that away from you. And if you ask me, that is my biggest achievement in my entire life, getting that degree. Whatever you want to start doing, just start, don't think twice. If you have the means to start, just start. I remember when I was starting YouTube, I, at that time I wasn't even owning an iPhone. And my friend told me, just start, just start, you can start with anything. And I am so glad I did because I love creating videos. I have been creating videos for a while now and I love doing it. If I could do it for the rest of my life, I would. I love it. Pay attention to your friend's jokes because there's some truth in those jokes. Trust me. I've learned a lot from people's drinks about me. Pay attention to your friends' jokes. There's a truth in them. Learn to be happy for others and learn to congratulate others. Your time will come. You will not die just by congratulating someone and being genuinely happy for them because your time is coming. The important thing that I have learned throughout these years is that you may be friends with certain people and you have different destinies because they're different people and just because your friend has bought a car now doesn't mean you should die or just because your friend is doing wrong in life. Everybody has their own journey. We may be friends but we have different journeys. We have different paths. God has different destinies for us. So the earlier you realize that you have different paths with your friends and you don't kill yourself the better it will be for you and you accept things way better as compared to when you don't you understand you will learn to understand that certain things happen the way they are happening and it is for a definite reason so this is the finished look you guys i hope you will learn something from the work that i just told you about as well and like i said i don't have a tripod <laughs> I have a ring light, so this is also working for that. So this is the hair, this is the final look, this is the makeup as well. I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and follow my TikTok. If you want more of these videos, just comment down below, and I'll do similar ones to these. Bye.